Hi guys, it's Modina. I am going to show you today um, some different trims that I make for my journal. And this is day three of my personal challenge. Okay, here's some of the supplies. I hope you can let me move them down a little bit. I hope you can see them. Okay. Um, I have I know everybody has a lot of like fabric flowers, so what I do is uh, I take them apart and um, break them down so you just have, you know, the petals like that. And um, I can glue them either on a coffee dyed uh, piece of cotton or you can do scrapbooking paper. Now, yes, you can sew it, but because I know probably a lot of people either don't sew or don't have a sewing machine, I wanted to make something that you wouldn't need to sew. But if you did want to sew, you know, like a zigzag stitch down, you could do that. You would just put like very, just a tiny bit of some uh, glue stick on it just to hold them in place while you feed it through the sewing machine. But today, we're not going to do any stitching today. So this is one of the trims. And then I also, like any time that I have little pieces left. Now, I would save this because I could use this as a um, hinge or whatever. But if I have like a little small piece like this one, I just punch them out. And I have little bowls and, um, you know, I have all kind of punches. And then you have these little flowers, so whenever you need them, you can start, you know, making your, um, making your uh, trim. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to set my timer over here for my camera, because my camera only, let's see, there it goes. I'm setting my timer, because my um, camera only films for 20, 21 minutes. Here are some, uh, it's another trim, and it's just little tiny pieces of fabric and lace, and this is glued to some coffee dyed paper. And then I have little punches of all the like bright colored um, uh, scrapbooking scraps I have, and I have some flowers and some circle punches. So um, I want to show you how it would look on a book. So say, um, here's one of my journals, and let's see, I'll get this in the camera. If I wanted just to put it on the side here, I could glue it on the side, that would look really cute. Or I could put it at the top, and then this could be the top part, and then you could, behind it, uh, glue fabric, and have a fabric flip. You could glue it to um, an envelope. Say you're doing an envelope and you want it to, you know, glue to pieces or glue it up here on pockets. So you can do a lot of different things with it. Now this one right here, the flower, fabric flower, this is one of my journals in my um, Etsy store. It has these, uh, this is vintage some of the curls are falling out, but this is vintage um, uh, velvet ribbon, and it was wrapped around a, a clothespin. And when I first made the book, they were so, they were like little ringlets, like Shirley Temple curls. But anyway, so you could take this. Of course, it would be probably a little larger book because the flowers are bigger. So if you had smaller flowers, it would look, you know, cute on this size book. But if you had a larger book... Say you wanted to glue it down the side, once again up here, you know, anywhere you wanted to put it, but look, it would also look cute if you would glue it on the spine, like that. So, that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. It's really, really quick, quick little craft. So, um, the fabric, 
like I said, all I do is dissect the flower. Let me take one. And you just pull all the plastic pieces off. Just get rid of them. I don't keep them. Because what am I going to, you know, do with all this little plastic stuff? I'm really trying to um, condense a lot of the stuff in my studio. When I say studio, I took my largest bedroom, which is not that big, and turned it into a studio. And then you would just take some glue. And you just glue your flowers on. And like I said, if you were um, wanting to sew, you could sew these on. And, and you would only use just a little bit of glue just to kind of tack them in place so you can run them through the sewing machine. Because these are glued, I wouldn't want to um, sew over top of this because uh, a lot of times the glue will mess up your needle, could break it off. And then I thought what would be really pretty is not every single one, but just like to put little pearls. Little pearls in the center would look really cute. Just periodic throughout the um, strip, just put some pearls. And you could also, this is on fabric, you could also have lace that's kind of sticking out the sides. And that would look pretty. But see how pretty the little pearls look? So, and like I said, you just, and I overlap them, you know. And I like them to, you know, hang off to the side. So that's one. See how simple that is? So easy. And it's good to make like, you know, a long strip and just have it so whenever you need, need it for a journal, it's already made. So that's one. And like I said, I have all kind of little punches. I have um, butterflies and circle and little flower ones. What would be really great, like if you're doing um, Christmas journal, little snowflakes you could do on a strip or Christmas trees. And especially now with a fall journal, I wish I had it because I just did a fall journal. It's in my Etsy store, um, a Winnie the Pooh journal. And if I had some leaves, I probably would have made, you know, uh, some fall leaves and the fall colors. This same thing, these are all coffee dyed um, paper or it's, um, let's see, vintage uh, dictionary and I just punch them out and like I said I just have bowls of these sitting around and then I just glue one here so the strip is almost done but I'm going to add to it so this is a little piece of scrapbooking I'm um, not scrapbooking it's a little piece of um, coffee dyed paper and I'm just going to make another strip And you want to make the strip smaller so whatever you're putting on it will like hang over the edge. You don't want to see the paper. So I'm just going to glue this here. Glue it like that. Grab some of these and just glue them. Like I said, I like to overlap them. Here's a little vintage um, music page I punched out. A 
I've got a little tiny, tiny, tiny butterfly. I'm going to put that over here. And like I said, you can just, you know, make long strips and you'll have them when you need them. This one I'm not going to show you because I'd have to go dig and find all these little fabric pieces. But it's fabric. It's um, little mesh netting and it's lace. And, um, you know, those tiny little pieces that you have left over and you know you're not going to make them. Why save them? And then, and I hate throwing stuff away, and I said, well, I can do something with this. Now, um, I don't know if I showed this on the book. I can't remember. It's terrible. I'm getting old. I can't remember anything. But look how, um, let me pick a good page to put it on. Let's do this bright yellow. Look how pretty that will look just on the edge of your journal like that. It's cute. Okay. And this one is made, um, you know, just like the uh, coffee dyed one. And you just punch out all different little, little ends and odds and ends of your um, scrapbooking. So that's uh, just a quick little um, craft today for day three. Um, I hope everyone is well and safe. See you tomorrow.